we can bring in uh, Konstantin Ulysseev, who's a former Ukrainian ambassador to the European Union, and he is in Kyiv this morning. Thank you for your time. Good morning. Yes. Good morning to you. Thank you. How would you describe the latest situation in Kyiv where you are? How threatened do you feel? I'm sorry, but maybe I will spoil a good morning for your citizens, because here in Kyiv, in Ukraine, we are living in another universe. Here is a real Amargedon. I'm sorry to tell you the truth. Uh, could, you be, uh, could you think that only uh, uh, yesterday Russian uh, uh, occupational troops and Russian military, they launched 70, 70 ballistic missiles on Ukrainian territory? Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, they are shelling every single hour. Just a couple of minutes ago, the air alert was announced here in Kiev as well. So the uh, situation is uh, not a very good one, and, uh, but... Uh, because of uh, heroic uh, resistance of Ukrainian people, Ukrainian armed forces, we, are, we did not allow Russian uh, troops to go deeper to the Ukrainian territory. We made some counterattack. And uh, more and more, there is a spirit that uh, the time for Ukrainian victory is approaching. And uh, of course, we count very much on the, on the support of our international partners, in particular on support of the United Kingdom, uh, because uh, this is two precondition for our joint victory. This is the uh, heroic resistance of Ukrainian people, and secondly, uh, I would say solidarity of the democratic world with Ukraine. Just give us a sense of the situation in Kyiv, because we're getting these reports that the Russians are sort of pulling back from encircling the city. We know that people like you, uh, diplomats, people like uh, President Vladimir Zelensky are still in the capital. And yet we're also hearing these awful accounts that people are being forced to drink sewage, that people in Kyiv are facing starvation. I mean, are you seeing that where you are? Uh, f yes, uh, I'm King Kiev, but first of all, let me tell you that Ukrainian people is united as never before, including all political forces. Here, there is no opposition. Everybody is united around Ukraine, around protection of Ukrainian uh, soil. Uh, it concerns uh, president of Ukraine, uh, the former president Poroshenko, other opposition forces. So we are all united. We are all soldiers. And uh, because we are talking about our sovereignty, our territorial integrity, Yes, uh, Russian uh, armed forces, they would like to uh, take Kyiv because for them it would mean a symbolic uh, meaning. But uh, let me reassure you that uh, they never, ever will take uh, Kyiv. And even more, uh, I, as I told you uh, earlier, that uh, the victory is approaching. And uh, of course, Russians would like just to concentrate more forces in the uh, eastern part of Ukraine, namely Donetsk and Lugansk region. But at the same time, they attacking with uh, Iskander missiles, I mean, ballistic missiles, the uh, western part of Ukraine, Lviv, uh, Lutsk. Uh, of course, there are still uh, big problems with Mariupol. This is uh, southern east uh, city near Azov Sea. You know that uh, this city is under siege. This is kind of ghost city, but they are resisting. And uh, even a uh, uh, massive Russian attack uh, they are not uh, 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 succeed in uh, taking this heroic city. But again, uh, uh, the life is going on. Uh, starting from today, for example, uh, all uh, uh, children uh, started their uh, study program and uh, lessons in school, of course, online. Students started also uh, their uh, educational program uh, in university, of course, online. Uh, here in Kyiv, we have uh, water, we have drink, uh, we have, of course, uh, nutrition. And this is, of course, mainly because of humanitarian assistance, because of uh, help of our friends. But now we need more than a nutrition. We need uh, military equipment. We need uh, anti-air anti equipment. We need uh, anti-tank, uh, you know, weapons. Uh, of course, we need uh, uh, fighter jets. This is with what we can uh, uh, accelerate the victory of Ukrainian armed forces. And here we count very much on you. And secondly, we expect from the, our partners to increase the level of sanctions. The sanctions must be devastated. What you just did, I mean, the international community, UK, the European Union, this is just a 
not so devastating. Russia still continue and Russian economy still continue to survive. That's why, uh, first of all, you need to uh, cut off uh, SWIFT uh, from all uh, Russian banks, not, for, not from seven, as you did uh, just recently. Of course, we expect that the international community will adopt the so-called Land Lease Act. Uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, UK citizens know what does it mean. Uh, this is the act which was introduced back in 1941 during the Second World War. Here uh, we count very much on this act because we need, as I told you earlier, from nutrition to ammunition. And of course, which is uh, the most painful issue for us, this is sky. We need to put the sky under the control. If we will put under the control sky, believe me, within a couple of weeks, uh, Ukraine will liberate all territory from a uh, Russian aggressor. Uh, you keep asking for that, Mr. Ulysses. If it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be to be happening. Uh, we wish you well. Uh, more peace talks again today, um, and we hope they lead towards some sort of resolution or ceasefire. Thanks for your time this morning. We've got to leave it there. Thank you.